Alrighty, so what's going on everybody? This is SkyCloud and here so today. Today we're gonna take a look at the new trailer and the article released by the Horror Series Legion game producer, game publisher, game producer. How do you even say this? Game company themselves. And yet it's a trailer, not just an article. Surprise, isn't it? Thousands of years since they released the previous trailer. Bro, I'm not even born yet, Jesus Christ. Anyway, let's take a look at them and see what can we get, what might we get. Now, this is not very accurate since, well, I'm not very good at guessing Warhammer stuff and not a very strong Imperial Fist fan. If I can guarantee that everything I said is right, but I just realized something is that uh, I'm actually going to take a look at the Forge World, which is the one that release the models of total of Warhammer Horus Heresy because they are not actually sold in the um, games workshop since I don't know why I think it's because they use racing instead of actual stuff but without further ado boys take your popcorn and enjoy this 19 seconds trailer yes it's only 19 seconds you may ask what can I get from this? A lot of stuff, since I'm a good analyzer all the time. Stone and steel will speak. Great, that's it. I'm kind of surprised, isn't it? Yeah, so I only did two trailer breakdown before this one and the ter <laughs> oh, and Total War one. And these are especially difficult. Six days is only 19 seconds. Dude, that's a lot of analysis, isn't it? Anyway, so yeah, it's 90 seconds now, and I'm just gonna do a full breakdown right now. What do we might expect from this 19 seconds teaser trailer? You might think, SCK, you think too much. This is just 90 seconds just to give us a sense that they will be released. But here's the thing, guys. I'm driving crazy, okay? I want content. And uh, yeah, let's do this. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. So at the beginning, we see this city, city of Terra. Now you may ask, what's the point of this? I mean, are they just gonna say this is about the City of Terror stuff? I mean, yes, there could be. But what I more care about is that this one, you see the turret here, they could be an actual card, the structure card, because I feel like you have to spend a lot of details in a teaser, especially only 19 seconds teaser. So there has to be a mini of ex 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 existence here. This is it. This is going to be a structure car. Now, I know this might be crazy. And it's definitely not April Fool's joke because it's long past. Okay, I don't need that long time to edit the video. But anyway, many of you know this just released today. But anyway, they're going to be the actual car, structure car, I hope. Because Imperial Fist built them. And they're going to be part of Imperial Fist. I'm just going to repeat shuffle around. Why? Because as you see, the lore base was they were sent. Imperial Fist was sent back to Terra to build this defense and I believe there will be more defensive system than this only because this is Terra boys, this is the capital of all time, this is Republic of Star Wars sounds kind of ironic actually to be fair Empire and Republic, dude what is this? and you'll see a red line here, targeting system, laser stuff Yeah, and we just and you obviously just see a uh, chaos eyes, the son of Horus's eyes. I don't know how to say that exactly. That's actually just the eyes of Horus, I suppose. And we see all the song terror. Obviously, that's definitely a very common card we see before. Yeah, and uh, yeah, we see Roger Doom here, and he used a very classic meme strategy. That's what I call it, at least. It's by zooming in the face, and that's what he do actually. We see the details. Of the Roger Dawn face. Stone and steel will speak. Great, so now when we get to this page, we actually see the voice line of Roger Dawn. I think it's Roger Dawn because of that reverb, reverb inside his voice. Stone and steel will swing. Now, highly, I highly suspect that the first event 
that introduces Imperial Fist is going to be the City of Terror. Not only because this is the main stage in the book, but also, well, let's see the name here. I mean, you can't just do Siege of Terror for nothing, right? I mean, bruh. But anyway, we see the voice line of Roger on here, which is pretty nice. And I believe this is a captor. And I don't know because I'm not a huge Imperial Fist fan, but I think he's the first captain. Where is he actually? Yeah, I'm just totally gonna open the stuff from the Forge Watch stuff since, well, uh. I'm a terrible person. I'm just gonna reveal stuff from the Forge War. I'm just gonna expand it. Should do some homework then that. And this is a four zero five captain. And yeah, so obviously it's confusing because they got a lot of captains. Okay, Imperfect is kind of complicated. Actually, every region is complicated. For that, forget what I what I just said. But anyway, I think he's either the first captain or just a normal captain or it's the four zero five captain who is sold out currently in the shop. Which doesn't seem like it because I have different hair. So which makes me doubt this guy, he is just a troop. Now you might think, how can a troop fight a lord? Because we see this per we see per barrel here basically. And by the way, I don't think it's a barrel because he has a he has a freaking hammer, remember? Yeah. So we see all the troops here, Imperial Fist troop and we see I suppose it should be a captain. It's either a captain that does not show pictures or does not show a model. And he's definitely a lord because he's fighting a lord. <laughs> Simple reason, isn't it? Now, I believe, this is, I suspect that the first event introduces Imperial Fist will be Siege of Terror. And I said it before already, two times or three times. It's going to be the whole point because it's kind of important, I feel like. As you, because... You see this, they use this picture instead of the other picture. They could just use that picture, but they use this picture instead. Why? Because the first event is going to be Iron Warrior, Iron War, Iron Warriors versus the Imperial Fist. Kind of, maybe, maybe not, but that might also imply the parallel between Imperial Fist and the Iron Warrior, which they might both have the specialty, specialty, Speciality. A. Siege. They can siege. <laughs> yeah, I hope they can. I, mean, I hope. Or they may have the new abilities called Defensive System. Since they're a Defender and a Praetorian, actually that's also a um, suspect I have. Praetorian as their trait because they're the Praetorian of the Empire. Now, we let's go back to the previous pictures. Not this beam picture. We actually see the main cover of the Siege of Terror, basically. We see a captain here, which I also suspect is a lord, because anyone who shows the face is a lord. Fact! Checkmate, buddy. Let's get it. I think there will just be troops, or just a normal green lord. I mean, he looks simple. And we see Roger Dawn confirmed character. And we see more defensive system here, which actually strengthened my suspect or prediction of the system defense for the Imperial Fist factions in the game, which will be possible. And we'll see, we also see some custodians, which obviously <laughs> we don't care about them. And we'll see some Astro Militarians. They could be the agents of Malkador, or they may just be neutral, which I actually start to towards the uh, neutral cards for the Empire. And we see, oh, uh, it's just kind of custodian. I see something wrong, I thought. And then, yeah, uh, we see the Imperial Fist lines stuff, and we see world leaders. They could probably just include this in the art. Where I got a shield here. Yeah, and that's it. The music is pretty awesome. I like this music. It's pretty good, except it's only 19 seconds, which is not good. <laughs> which is the opposite definition of good. Damn, it's dynamics already. Jesus. Anyway, so this is kind of the full breakdown of the trailer, and the trailer only. Because we have so much stuff, we gotta take a look at the Forge World and the article that released with this trailer, which I will go with the sequence of importance, which is his articles. They basically tell us the basic three character who is gonna be in this factions in this game in this expansions Imperial Fist, Sisters of Silence and Agents of Sigilet. The Imperial Fist obviously gonna release on April 23rd. In April guys that's the best news I have ever heard these days. Despite the vaccine coming out. 
yeah, because they're pretty nice actually. Mm, yeah, I wanna let the Roger Dawn lead it. This is this Legion. And we're gonna see Sister of Science gonna lead it by Genetia Crow. I don't know how to say her name to be honest because I don't, I'm not really into the uh, Sisters of Silence and uh, she's got a Solace Queen. It will be appear near his her name in the card. And it's and they the girls gonna release be released on May seventh, which is pretty nice. Uh, three days after the May the fourth, which is a pretty coincidental. And last but not least, we have the agent of Sigilet himself, Legend of Terra. Yeah, uh, this is gonna be pretty awkward because many players will suspect. Well, actually, curious about how's the Lord system gonna be, since Loken, Nathaniel Garrow, who is now in the game already, who is also the agent of Sigilets, who are gonna, they gonna belong to? You? Well, it's kind of confusing questions because, yeah, it's very confusing because. You cannot just put them in two factions at once. I mean, you can put different abilities. I mean, obviously you can do that, but I don't think there's a point of doing that. They might just move back and forth between factions, or just to alternate art in the other factions. I'm just kidding. Now, because I do not know a lot about Warhammer, but it seems like the agents of Sigil are just some characters that are recruited by Malkador from different legions instead of like troops, like they do, like other. Legions or factions does. That's a suspect. That's a very interesting suspect. They're pretty feel actually, which probably means they're gonna just be allowed to become a sub factions. On the other hand, we have Malkador. I want to release. I want to talk about this guy first because obviously Nathaniel Garrow and Loki has been a part, big part of the game, and I'm gonna explain why. Why are they not going to move to the? Agents of Sigilet. The reason being, it's actually pretty simple. I'm not gonna do any any movement or stuff. It's actually pretty simple because due to the fact that Loka is a starting character. Now you may ask, what does that mean? Well, basically, we you started the game with Loka. He is a has to have character. You cannot not you cannot not have him. And he belongs to the Son of Horus factions, who has a very basic abilities, fundamental abilities. Therefore, you cannot have him. You can you just cannot have him in these factions because Agents of Sigilets starts to appear in sort of like the later half of the trilogy, the later half of the entire history of the Horus Heresy. Therefore I believe they're not move. And since Loken is not gonna be moved, I believe Nisanyo Garrow is also not gonna be moved since makes sense. Now let's take a look at the Sisters of Silence. We got two, four characters, or seems like characters at least, in the front. It's interesting. It's actually pretty interesting. I'm gonna say this a lot. Because she, I suppose this is the one who's giving the Silence Queen. And I suppose, does any? Does any? Oh, it's a Solace Queen, by the way. Sorry about that. Does. Oh, wait, uh, never mind. And these three, one of them is gonna be true. Or a hero basically means legendary lord or legendary troops and two lord or just one lord. This girl, I uh, don't know because you never seen Abigail release four lords at a time. Now, I have a few suspicions suspicions on the new legendary lord since they're gonna be a leader of factions. Roger Dorn, I don't think I have too much to talk about. Reckoning gonna be what his legion is good at, which we're not confirmed yet. See their specialties or their abilities. Sisters of Silence, which is pretty interesting because they're pretty similar to the Defenders of Caliban, which means Jan Jan Janita Kraw is gonna be very similar to Luther from Defender, the leader of Defender of Caliban, who is gonna have no reckoning and maybe some special ability or just some crazy good ability to fit her identity as legendary lord or she can like be like Anacris Anacra, I don't know how to say his name, he's not a legendary lord by the way um, 
who is gonna have 35 health and a very powerful special abilities, which can be either case, I feel like, because they are, she's not like a Primarch at all. And for Malkador, it's kind of an interesting stuff because he is powerful. He's very powerful because, well, uh, he is power more powerful than Magnus. He is the most old. He's the oldest and the most powerful psychers, as we see in the description here. Therefore, he should be pow more powerful than any other legendary lord, which means he should have a higher rank than them. It's just suspicions, obviously. So I feel like he is gonna be more expensive but yet more powerful than the others. And he might just have 30 health like the official assassin does. And because he has high level, he's gonna be more expensive obviously. And uh, by the pattern I find in the gem for each for the, each level of the cards, you times four from the previous level. For example, if you have red card, to get your epic card, you need times four to become 400. And times 400, you get a legendary card basically. He, by that pattern, it's going to be 64 set 100, which is going to be so expensive right away. And what you see, a physio assassin here and the nice error. And don't ignore the ore because, guys, you know what this means, this ore, right? It's going to be and. Just switch that. A physio assassin area, uh, nice errand. Which brings me another suspicion. Again, I have a lot of suspicions. Are they going to move a physio assassin Assassin that already exists in this game into these factions. Probably, probably not. Now, I don't know a lot about Nice or Nice Aaron, so I don't want to make too much prediction on that. But uh, we're gonna see more Assassin come saying, which my favorite and the most excited about is the Everstore Assassin because he's basically the only model I have and my favorite out of all. And this is basically the article breakdown. We're gonna see the first Legion comes in April 23rd, and the latest one is gonna be April, May 21st. <sighs> Why is it two weeks? And by the way, neutral cards. I don't talk about it because they're boring. Now, this I take this video. I tip this video. I tried three times already. Failed. Third time, I'm gonna include something more to make up for something I didn't get when I was doing the video. In a pre in a previous two try, and you see this is a four zero five captain. Now this is the potential stuff troops for the Imperial Fist. We got Legion Command, which I suppose that's the I think that's gonna be special because this belongs to this categories. Obviously, the Terminator gonna be either epic or just rare or even normal. I mean, but that's possible. We're gonna see the Water Squad. Actually, they're just troops. They're gonna be troops, epic troops, like the Headhunter Squad, I hope. And then we see some Terminators. I think the basic Terminator is just gonna be like the normal Terminators, who is gonna be uh, either a normal card or it's an epic card. Now we got Storm Shield, which is gonna be pretty much a rare. I don't expect that much. And uh, yeah, we also see Roger Dorn here. We see some Templar Brethren. And. Uh, Dreadnought, obviously you need Dreadnought for every faction, and this is basically it, I don't think I have anything else. Rhino, basically yes, and uh, yeah, this is some just some suspicion that I have about this one, and you actually also see some other stuff, but anyway, this is the end of the video. Yeah, I'm so sorry about this, it's kind of speaking a bit fast at towards the end of the video, because kind of getting emergent stuff, but anyway. This is kind of, this is kind of the end of what I have at least my brain power blows when I analyze this because there are so much stuff. I mean Imperial Fist you also have Knight Errant, which is obviously here. We got Tylos Rubio who is possibly gonna be in the Agents of uh Sigilet, and the Senior Garo as Knight Errant. And uh, yeah, this is the end of videos. And by the way New card released by content creators, which I hope you guys see this video and then send this one to them saying, let me do it. I'm going to be a good reveal for you guys because I do a lot of calculations and find a game pattern, rele game release pattern, card pattern. Yeah. And uh, yeah, this is it guys. My master is here. Hey, this is the end.
this is the end guys finally this is gonna be a very boring episode of all time out of all my videos because well, I'm just gonna sit here doing stuff and uh, we see a lot of tutorial stuff obviously it's pretty fun to be fair I like how they do our trailer instead of just let the content creators do it because we let us all start it on the same point which I like a lot I be fair and uh, yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you enjoyed the video please consider leave a like button if you want to see more video on the horror series legion please subscribe to the channel besides that if you want to see some new video some new content and some new games comment in the section below and I will try my best to fulfill your wishes besides that I will see you guys later stay healthy and you also stay positive goodbye everyone